All right, so welcome to day two of the class. Um, today we are going to be fleshing out the croquis, the skeleton we drew yesterday. We are going to be adding flesh, so we are going to be making it something like this. Some people asked questions that we ended with straight lines yesterday, and I already said it that it was skeleton that we drew. So now we're adding flesh to it. So this is what I drew yesterday. Can you see how thick? I said I, I made it thick so that you could see it, but normally you're not supposed to make it as thick as this because most of this time we are going to clean them off. So this is how faint, in fact, if it can be fainter than this, because I still made this a little bit thick so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this to flesh out. Do you understand? Now, um, the first thing we are doing here is we're going to be fleshing out from the waist. I said yesterday that where these two lines meet, this is where the waist is, and this is the hip. So we are starting from here, and we are going to draw something like this. It is going to form an arc like this. You are blending. So you are going to make this line and this line. You are going to make them one. Do you get it? So can you watch closely how I did? So you are going to start from this line. So you are just going to blend like this and you do the same thing here so you are just going to make the line one you blend like that remember you are still working with faint lines you are still working with faint lines I'm making it thick so that you can see what I am doing so you are going to blend so for the hip part all you just need to do is, you're doing from this hip part, can you see? You're just going to come out a little bit like this. Then you connect back to the laps. Do you get it? So you do the same thing here too. After you have blended this place, from the hip part, you come out a little bit. And you're going to blend back. Do we get so you can blend the two together like this so that they look like one? I'm making it thick so that you can see. Please learn to work with faint lines. Yes, so we are done with this part. So I'm going to clean off the inner line here. I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to clean it off. Can you see? If you had made it so thick, you would have had issues cleaning it. So after I clean this off, you won't see the other line again. So I'm going to make this more visible. So, can you see? We're getting there. So, you clean off this inner straight slide too, because we actually don't need it again. Alright, so the next part is the knee part. The knee part, so you are going to blend too, just like you did. But this time, we are curving like this. You are going to blend. Can you see? So, I'm going to make this line connect. I'll make it thicker. You blend this two like this. I'm going to blend like that. Hey. So, we're blending like this. Pencil as a usual. My, my sharpener is not even anywhere near. So, you clean off all those the inner lines that we've done. You clean it off. Then, this middle line, this middle line, the middle one, no, the first one that we do from the beginning. So, you can clean it off from here. So, you make this one visible. 
make this one visible so clean up the middle line we don't need it like the first major middle line that we do we clean it off but you make sure that all the other lines why you are cleaning off and you see some lines that you need that are already clean off you draw them back so like this so by this we are done with the the yes can you see so the down part is done so we are moving to the to the bodies to the upper parts of the body so now let's let's continue with um flesh out the hand and draw the hand so you are coming here you are going to flesh out like this just like you did for the hand you are fleshing out then you erase the inner what is inner this thing you clean them off so clean the inner lines connect like this so to draw the hand to draw the and this is what you are going to do watch closely in the middle of these two points you come to the middle and you draw you draw this can you see then from here from here you do something like this you connect back can you see then you extend this one you extend this one a little bit oh sorry i made a mistake let me make it clear so that you can see what I am talking about. Alright, so here you come here, you draw it like this. Then the part that has the hip is where the thumb will be. So I'm going to draw the thumb now. So from here you are going to just connect to this part. Do you get it? Then you extend this other one. You extend this other one down and then you connect to draw so can you see do we understand is it getting interesting or familiar so yes we have it then you do the same thing here too. You blend, you blend, you blend, you connect. Just blend and make it thicker. You clean off the inner lines. Just clean off the inner lines. Those inner lines, they were used as guides. You clean off the inner lines. So while cleaning off, some parts would have been off too. So. So you do the same thing here. Like I said, where your EP is, that is where your thumb will be. So you know the thumb was here. The thumb will be here the next time. So you come to the middle, you do something like this. Then, can you see? So you extend this line down. Then you bring this one to connect. So are we good? So that's that. So we can move to the upper part. Now, um, I said earlier that we drew the bust line. So like I was saying, this is our bust line. Then you just come down a little bit and this will be your under bust. And that will be your under bust line. So from your bust line, you just you should have cleaned up this part. That inner triangle. We don't need it again. Just clean it off. it off so i'm redrawing the bust line so that you can see all right can you see this is the under bust this is the bust line so from here just come out from this line just mark a little bit from here just mark a little bit then trace that line down trace it down trace it down after you trace it down then you draw like this can you see 
from Yetsu. That's your bust. It's so fine. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, we're so done with this part. My lines are already cleaning up, so I'm going to use my hand to, to bring them back. Because I was cleaning and cleaning. So this line too, I'm still going to clean it off. It was just a guide. I'm going to clean all this one off. They were just used as guides. So yes, that is that with the down part. I hope you can get it. So now we want to focus on the head. We want to focus on the head and yes. This part is very easy. All you just need to do is first step. Divide this line into two. Get the midpoint. This is the midpoint. So just draw a very faint line, a very faint line. So from here to here, you get the midpoint like this. From here to here, you mark the midpoint. So from that midpoint, from that midpoint, you just trace from the line. From that midpoint that you mark, trace from the line, then you come out. Then you come down a little bit outside the box. Can you see? So. From here to you trace the line, then you come out, come out a little bit down the box. Can you see? On the upper part too, from here to here, you get the midpoint. From here to here, you get the midpoint. Then you do the same thing. From here, you blend from the line exactly. Then you come in like this. You blend from the box. Can you see? Fine. So, then you connect them together. You blend them together. This thing takes practice. So it's not something that is you can just get. You might not be able to get it once. So you have to practice. So you clean off the excess lines that you have. You clean them off. Clean them off, all the inner lines. You erase them. So, like I said, by erasing, you might have erased all the the original lines that you need. So you trace them back. You trace the lines. You trace them back. Our head is complete. <laughs> Already the head is complete. So, yes. We are good. Then you come here. You just draw something like this. You see? Draw something like this. Then you join the shoulder. Look, watch closely. Then you join the shoulder. You trace like so. Then you join... To this end can you see then you trace like so so the other side you do the same thing whatever you do on one side you are doing on the other side because it's what doing what we are doing is symmetric it's very very symmetric all right, so there you have it. Our croquis is done. Our croquis is ready. And it's looking so beautiful. So...
Next thing is all these irrelevant lights. They are supposed to be totally off. I mean invisible. So you clean off, make all those lines totally invisible. Okay, so here you have it. We have our croquis. If you um, notice, some people leave their own headless. Like, it's just like this. With no eyes, no nose, no mouth. But some people actually go for that to draw eyes, nose, mouth, and everything on it. But for the purpose of this course, I'm not going into all that. I'm just going to show you briefly how you can clothe this croquis. Do you understand? Now, this is, like I said, this is the first step in your fashion illustration journey so the next basic thing the main thing we want to the next basic basic thing now is where we want to wear clothes on this croquet so all these are already in fact you already have the templates you need if you want to draw a dress you already have the templates you need if you want to draw a skirt and blouse you have the templates you need on this croquet so now i'm going to sketch a very simple dress on this I'm going to sketch a very simple dress and we'll see just get to see how it goes so let's assume that my my dress is asymmetric my dress is asymmetric and i have something like um okay let's do it this way My dress is asymmetric. Then I have something like this. Can you see? So, this is supposed to be this side is off shoulder. And to draw the down part, all I'm just going to do is I'm just still going to trace this line, you see. For a straight dress but the only difference is that from here i'm just going to come out a little bit if you want a short skirt if you want a midi it depends on the size i'm going to come out a simple this is a simple short let's do a, a simple short dress so just going to do something like this then the simple short dress can you see i'm going to do like that so i'm going to clean off this inner line again because we already wore the clothes so that it looks like yes he's putting on a clothes so Can you see? So. Ah. Can you see that I already did? So I'm just going to give it an illusion of a bust here. Like so. And let's assume that my dress has 
like if that's manipulation somewhere around here you get and we want to accentuate the waste part So now I'm just basically working with lines and I'm creating something from the scratch. So there you have it. And let's say I want to put just um, just a normal bell sleeve. Alright, so can you see this is just a simple dress? Now it depends on what you want to do. Like I said, you can do a lot of things. If you want to make this a peplon, a peplon dress, you know, you just come here like this. Come here, give it an illusion of a peplon. Can you see? So can you see that you have we have changed the style? So different styles, different ways of doing it. But you know the class does not end here. Like I said, this is just the basic. Once you can draw the croquis, the next thing you need to do is to perfect your drawing skills so that you can draw basic garment design components. Do you get it? So you have something like this. You can have a peplum. Do you understand? All right. So yeah. This is just a simple dress, as you can see. Simple dress. So that will be the end of today's class. If you have any questions, further questions, you can let me know. You can let me know if you have further questions. I'm sure you should be able to do some things now. Once you have the basic croquis, you should be able to do some things. be able to do something so if you have further questions you let me know and we move from there so flesh out and try drawing something on it although there's still a lot of things to learn there's still a whole lot of things to learn in fashion illustration and we'll see so i'll see you guys later bye